Thanks for sticking with us. And Guy, you know the Education Foundation is near and dear to my heart. Oh, yes. It's one of my favorite All organizations. Of our All of our hearts, that mm -hmm. is true. But um, it's one of my favorite organizations within the school district. And uh, we've got some ladies here that do phenomenal, phenomenal work. Um, for our viewers that don't know, the Education Foundation really serves as a nonprofit that brings in funds that are actually outside the district's normal operating budget. So, uh, you know, they spend a good portion of the year tirelessly raising money that is made available to our teachers for uh, through grants. So our teachers, you know, might have a special project that they're interested in, just don't have the funding, and they can apply for a grant through the Education Foundation. And with us today, we have two very special ladies. We have Jennifer Sitton. Hello. Hello. Jen is actually on the Education Foundation board and she is one of the gala co-chairs right. which is a big event we're going to talk about and we also have Patricia Williamson who is also on the Education Thank Foundation you. board and she is a co-chair with Jen for the Education Foundation gala which is coming up which is what we're here to talk about one of the biggest believe. events of the year I know I can't believe we're here again hey, I know. A few it comes more around months. quick, <laughs> around quick. So, so Jen um, tell us about the gala and why our our viewers don't want to miss it. Okay, so April the April tenth um, this year, Humble Civic Center again. Um, this year's theme is denim and diamonds. So we're going to kick it up Western style this year. Shining stars for education <laughs> is our tagline. Okay. Um, so jeans, boots, or if you really want to go, you know, old Western, you can. Um, so Why is she gonna, looking at me when she said oh. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yes. So it's going to be another fun event, um, adding a fun feature this year that we're hoping to get you on, Dr. Sconzo, uh -oh. is um, a mechanical bowl. Okay. Wow. So the challenge has been put out there for you, along with your school board members. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping to get all seven of them on there. Um, so Who just can stay on there the longest. Yes. Oh, a little the competition. Contest. A little competition. Oh, ah, okay. So um, a lot of fun events. We're going to turn it, the Civic Center into Western theme, um, and our decorator does a phenomenal job year after year um, transforming our Civic Center into just a wonderful venue. So another exciting event, of course, we'll be bringing back silent auction, live auction, a lot of exciting um, live auction items this year. We're going to bring back a band this year for the event since it is a Western theme and really get some country Western music in there. So it's going to be just another fun-filled event raising lots of money for the school, um, for the students, for the schools. So Well, every year is a blast um, at the gala, and, you know, it really... It is the event you have to be seen at. I mean, it grows and grows every year. It gets more and more fun. It's an extravaganza, but but a, just a fun extravaganza. Right. No black tie, no, black no tie. gowns, none Unless of that. Unless you choose to. Well, that's <laughs> true. That's <laughs> true. I'm going to choose no not to. No rain no nothing. <laughs> there so you go. Yeah. Um, but Patty, how, how many people does it? I mean, you guys are amazing as co-chairs, and thank you both very much yeah. because it's 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 an an inordinate amount of time in pulling it all together, but, but I know it's just not the two of you. So how many people are involved in volunteering and, and planning the event and actually putting on the event? Well, probably roughly 50 to 75 volunteers, um, including the committee members. Um, but they're just fabulous. I mean, we all, we work as a great team, no drama. It's just fun, <laughs> just lots and lots of fun, really. Drama free is yes, good. Yes, <laughs> I mean, you know, how can you have drama when you are planning a party? I mean, and that's, yeah. that's the bottom line. We're, you know, having a party, raising money for the students, for the teachers, right. and it's just a lot of fun. And so when we recruit people to our committees, um, we always brag on Gala because you get to be on the committee that plans the biggest party for the district. And so how is that not, you know, intriguing to, to people? So. Okay, we're, we're talking very about cool. the, the gala being a party, but at the end of the day, it's ultimately a very big fundraiser yes. for the Education Foundation. And it is the main event fundraiser that, that the foundation counts on. Um, so tell me, have you set a goal, ladies, for this year's gala on how much money you would like the... Do you want to take that? <laughs> Our goal this year is about 180,000. Wow. So the more people, wow. the more donors, um, 
you know, get people out there. People need to come and just enjoy themselves and, and know that you're, you're contributing to a wonderful cause um, in order for us to fill the grants come April. So. Well, and how do people, Jen, um, how do people donate? What can they donate? How can they contribute so to? So, of course, there's various ways that you can. Um, donating as items to our silent and live auction, um, being a sponsor where you're purchasing a table, and we have certain levels starting from 1500 to $10,000 a table. Um, you know, just flat donation to um, the Education Foundation, um, being a sponsor on our mobile bidding um, platform that we have this year, we're opening it up and asking people to sponsor that. So okay. there's various ways. It's very easy. They can go to humbleisdfoundation.org. Um, if you can't remember that, there's always a link from our district website that will take you straight there. Um, so there's just various ways that you can donate. Um, if monetarily, you can always volunteer the day of the event and help set up mm -hmm. um, if you want to help out in that aspect. So Great, great. So and very, ways. very important. Because as you said, it, when all is said and done and the gate again sets a record and is highly successful, it's the children in the district okay. who, right. who benefit. And Absolutely. that's why a lot of our committee members come back. That's why me and Patty come back. You know, Carrie serves on the board with us as well. That's why we come back, because at the end of the day, we're raising funds for the students and for the teachers. And that's the reason why we all do put in the tireless hours um, and making sure that the event's a success. Well, so. on, on behalf of those students and teachers, thank you. You're very, welcome. very much. Absolutely. And we're looking forward to a fabulous gala right around the corner, not too far off. Thank you for your hard work. I don't know that I'm looking forward to that mechanical part. Oh, guy. I think you'll, my money's <laughs> on you. I think great. you'll hang on. And, and for our It'll viewers, it really truly is a wonderful event. It's a way that you can get behind your schools our school district and, and really I mean at the end of the day the money raised a hundred percent of it stays here locally it affects our kids our teachers can can use it for special project and, and it's a wonderful way to, to get involved so to thank you to the two of you and we're looking You're forward welcome. to uh, to the Western theme gala coming up yeehaw yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might wrap up rodeo exactly. there you go. Exactly. There you right go. On. That's right. so please stay with us guy and I will be right back